hey yo what up guys so in this video i'm going to be talking about what is happening right now you know what vdm is up to you know because vdm right now is up to something really huge guys which a lot of people have really reacted to and i'm just going to be explaining things for you in this particular video so if this is the first time you're seeing this channel kindly hit the subscribe button and like this video so guys vdm has been up to something big like recently because you know he has been talking about when he wanted to start an ngo you understand because when vdm first broke out as a celebrity you know during that jenny's glow stuff he made some friends and he made so much enemies and the likes of kubana chief priest at that point in time when they became friends for the first time kubana chief priest was trying to introduce him to the fact that he has to monetize his craft that is getting a lot of traction at that point in time so he had to monetize his craft but vdm being the kind of person he was at that point in time turned it down i told kubana chief priest that that wasn't what he wanted this morning see money now town you understand wait, wait, wait. Why? My, my, my problem with you you don't want to collect money you don't want to collect money what do you want to collect Huh? Uh, CP, 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 you know this thing. I explained to you the last time. Eh? This thing is a sign, you understand? I'm trying to win my options. Me and you don't get this discussion, yeah? But I know say you get too many things going on, yeah? Uh, we'll definitely talk about it. I told you already. I know my you have for some things, but you know, I told you. I'm going to do my business. My, 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 my brother, uh, my brother, Rattel, Rattel, my brother. Scarbatino! <laughs> You need you need this money. You need those yeah, yeah, yeah. wagon, those I'm those I'm energy. Good. You need those Range Rovers, those mansions. My brother, now once we become this life, oh yeah, true. VDM, big brand. We need to be going to the bank. I yeah. tell you, no need, problem. I, I appreciate everything you're doing for the society. Yeah, amazing. But the society care for people who have money mm. the society listens to people who have money mm. the society values the word of somebody but he later said he was going to start an ngu stuff and that is what he has been working on right now and i guys i tell you the way a lot of nigerians and the way a lot of people have embraced this idea is even something that is very shocking but in the process you know he sent a message to president tinubu which guys this guy is not sending messages to tinubu and guys I don't really know what VDM is doing, but you know, this particular guy says what he wants to say fearlessly. So in this particular video, I'm going to be showing you guys, he called for help that he wants to start an NGO. He's, he finally wants to get started with an NGO and he called the likes of David Doe and he called the likes also of Fubana Chief Priest. Fubana Chief Priest replied him definitely with the money and water stuff and told him he was going to help. But this was the video. All right, so guys, please, I need you guys to listen to me for few minutes this is important to me and i believe it will be beneficial to a lot of people the comment section will be open so that i can see some encouragement and get some ideas as well now we can all agree that the educational foundation of a child will determine what the child will be tomorrow educational foundation is very very important now this is the reason why a lot of people put their kids in private primary schools for startup now, how about the people that cannot afford to put their kids in a private school? That is where the public school come in. But here's the problem with the public school. The public schools are no longer interesting because these public schools have old teachers. Teachers that are very old are supposed to retire. Big belly uncle and big belly aunties. Unlike our time when we had like um, coppers, when they finish like their university, they come and teach us back then. You know, in our public school, we are like really young uncle who could vibe to them. There were a lot of games, you know, in the school, PHE, like, you know, when they come, cultural day and all that. But these public schools are now lacking all this because the young people don't longer want to go to the public schools and the primary school to teach. One, because the government don't pay them well. The government don't pay them well at all, which is causing a lot of problems for these kids that are in the rural area. They don't have a very good background for education. And it's not even interesting for them to go to school. The only interesting part about public school now is the playground. 
you understand and because they don't have like role models like a young role models to look up to in the public schools now they just look for one big guy you know that one will just be their role model and next thing they, are, they, they introduce them to courtism and it's a problem so the public school education is lacking now the government is not going to do anything about that it's quite all right but we as people can do something about it right now i came up with this idea yesterday and i said oh yes i need people to help me fund this idea right now what do i want to do i want to make the public schools interesting give or take every public school i'll start with abuja a lot of public schools in abuja i will be moving some coppers to those schools now we all know there's no job in nigeria so a lot of coppers finish school a lot of them leave their profession leave what they studied in school they'll start selling bed sheets start doing pos you know Yes, that's why a lot of coppers, there's no job in Nigeria. So um, what I want to do is this, it's simple. It's a win-win for all of us. I will employ coppers, right? I will employ coppers, really sharp coppers, coppers with ideas to start teaching in a lot of public schools. We'll have projectors in the school, PhD teacher that will teach them drama, that will make the school interesting for them so that all these children in the rural areas who want to study, studying will be exciting to them. Studying will be really exciting to them. Now, I cannot afford to pay coppers, do you understand? But collectively, if you people give me money, I can do it. Now, I have opened my own NGO, right? I've opened my own NGO. I have a lot of things to do with my NGO, like bringing water to communities and all that. But it is time to start fixing these problems gradually so that it will, if you, when you bring a solution, it will help everybody. I don't want to be all those NGOs that will go to Makoko I go and give them rights today, make one video and just get out. Do you understand? I want to make the government look bad. I want to make every other NGOs in Nigeria look bad. Now, I will give you my account number of my NGO. Any money that is being put in the NGO, I will publicize the whole amount. Everything will be out there for people to see. If I remove 10 naira, you see. I will update you on whatever thing they are doing. I don't want to eat one naira from this money. We have to help ourselves. Do you understand? And education is the key. I didn't really go to school, but my primary school was very great. I went to Pilot Science Primary School in Guagualada. It was very, very great because the teachers were young. We are not going to put out the big belly teachers out of work in primary schools. We'll use their own experience to join it together with the youth, do you understand, in the public schools to help teach these kids. Do you understand? So what I'm trying to achieve is this. I'll give the account number, you send the money. All those people where they promised me money, oh, very dark man, send, send your account number in my DM. God so kind, I've not sent your account number. Now is an opportunity to give very dark man money. So please, I need your money to fund a very big project. Like I said, this is to make the government look bad because they will not do anything. And to make every other NGO look bad. Now, every other NGO in Nigeria can categorically tell you that most of them are using NGOs to cash out. People contribute as much as 3 million, 5 million, 10 million, 15 million, 20 million, 30 million. These people will come out if you contribute like 30 million, they'll spend like 1 million and they'll keep the other money for themselves. Just like those Black Lives Matter people. NGO is not what you will see it to be in Nigeria. But I'm about to make all of them look bad. So please, this is my account number. Um, it's Zenith Bank 13136790008. The name of the account is Martin Vincent Ote initiative it is here be careful of scammers you understand be careful of scammers please zenith bank look at the account name make sure you look at the account name before you send anything now unlike your pastors in nigeria i am not giving you a specific amount you can decide to send 10 naira it will be appreciated you can decide to send 100 naira it will be appreciated anything you decide to send it will be appreciated do you understand? Uh -huh. I don't need to say bring 10%. I think God signed me. But I promise you, you guys will see changes in Nigeria very soon. Lastly, I would like to say I am not a politician. I never want to be a politician in Nigeria. I don't care about it at all. Do you understand? But it's about, okay, it is time for us to start doing things if the government will not do it for us. So please help me fund this project. And if you do so, may God bless you. I don't know how to pray about it. I pray for you. I don't go to church. I don't do nothing. I don't pray. So I'm sorry, but God will bless you if you do so. And if you don't do so too, God will still bless you. 
Thank you very much. Peace and love. Don't play. Um, after VDM made the call, guys, it was very shocking to him, you know, when he started seeing the kind of money he was making for the first time he called for money and it and definitely he was very open and he was very transparent with his account showing everybody how much is coming in and he said that is how he's going to be transparent you know when he starts spending the money guys and he had to throw shades on other ngos that have been living in the disguise of being philanthropists so a lot of persons actually they come out and they are philanthropists and people just donate money to them and they end up eating a chunk of the money you know and just using part of the money to help and he came out to throw shades on all those people and this was what he had to say about it all right um barely 24 hours since i announced my ngo if i tell you how much is in that account now you will not believe if i tell you how much did that account you not go believe first of all um shout out to all the people that have sent money and shout out to all the people sending money god will bless you i mean um i saw the massive love and support when i started seeing amounts of amount like 72 naira 100 naira, 22 naira, 15 naira, 500. To be very honest, with the total amount I've gotten, which I'll tell you the amounts now, the money where they contribute, the people where contribute past, most of the money that was contributed was from 500 naira down. 500, 300, 200. Do you understand? It means say, most of these people don't really get, but they want support. The love is massive, bro. I can categorically say the biggest amounts that came into that account is this morning, 2 million naira and 1 million naira. Do you understand? I think counts the 200,000 and the 100,000, you know much. But the one where really make up this money, now 300, 100 naira, 200, even get one and say, where well, boss my brain. <laughs> you get one where boss my, boss my brain, the caption, boss my brain, make me laugh. The person is say, the person say the person said on the letter, I say, IJ, IJ, I love you because you decrease. 100 naira send. It's all love. Now, with the total amount I've gotten so far, to be honest, it made me realize that a lot of these NGOs are actually using hiding under NGOs to scam and to get a lot of money for themselves. I swear to God, this contribution just made me discover, say, most of them are scammers. From all these celebrities where get foundation, you understand? Yes. Barely 24 hours. It opened my eyes to a lot of things. To a lot of things. How much have I gotten so far? As I speak to you now, I have um twenty-one million six hundred and twenty thousand naira. As you can see, the money where the person even said now four hundred four hundred naira. 21 million 620,000 barely 24 hours the truth is i'll make a lot of ngos look bad i will make them look bad do you understand i will be posting all the amounts if i use 10 naira i'll show you people that I use 10 naira it will urge the rest and it will force them to start being transparent do you understand yes and anyone will know they're transparent people will come and say bless you, this one has come out no wonder these people will come post online saying somebody get kidney problem. The person don't top bed. Say the person need 10 million. People go gather, 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 gather. This MNG will come post next week or two weeks later. Say person need 15 million for, for another kidney problem. The money where you get, the extra money from this 10 million, why you know use for that one where need 15 million? If you contribute big money for all these NGOs in Nigeria, you contribute 10 million or 3 million for something. They will spend like that three million. The remaining one they'll keep it for themselves. Now business. This thing don't open my eyes. A business. All these people they use NGO do for this country. Business. I will make it look bad. Anyways, um, now for my own project, which all of you will see clean and clear. I know the campaign. I will never do politicians in this country. I'm not interested in it in any way. Do you understand? Yes, yeah, so we have to start putting good energy out there. And we have to start showing people the right way to do things. We have to start breaking all the ways, all the laws that's shifted with all these criminalities and corruption inside the government and the non government and this. We go to open arm, guy. We go to open arm. Now, my own project is simple. You understand? My own project is simple. It's to create a very good educational background to for children in public schools. Simple. All these public schools, they don't get young teachers again. 
because everybody won't go where we say oh more they will make money nigeria hard so our educational educational sector is lacking especially in the public schools there's nothing fun about the public schools again so when you give them good teachers young teachers that they will look up to that will teach them well with the current way things is going on like this ai thing you know education not supposed to advance past waiting that they teach us that time introduce tech to the schools you know teach them with projectors even if they're like two class get projector they'll carry them for general knowledge you know teach them about getting the importance of getting handwork Nobody, everybody go go school. The one where no sharp, may go learn and walk. You know, break them in section, teach them games. The one where if you say this one go sabi, go be good actor. You carry them go inside a skill, maybe they learn acting. You know, be advance their acting skills. From primary schools, more they get all these things. So that you give them this orientation. When they don't enter secondary school, then they'll start to be think about, okay, yes, yeah, this is what I learned in my primary school. Should I go and develop this skill? You know, create fun things for them. Maybe they prepare for cultural day. Now they don't do cultural day again for public schools. You know, day again, they don't get big events. Now only private schools get down. Now private schools, now everybody don't. And most of these people going into the private school, now people will cash out from public schools. Now they use their hands scatter public schools so that they'll feel the chop from private sectors, from private schools. Yes, now, now we see they do now. Okay, you want with experience, they'll go carry a headmaster, carry and go one private school, go use and do teacher. They used to collab with spoiler so that public school no get level again. Not them them. You understand? Not them them. Not them them. Anyways, so I don't get over 21 million and I'll still drop the account number. This is still the account number in case if you still want to show love and support. Don't worry. Your money is not going to bury that one's pocket and bigger than that. You know, money not the move me, but people not believe. People think I just the talk, but I'll show you people. I'll probably be wrong. <laughs> I'll show you on a tete. <laughs> I will spoil my business. I saw the gold. I'll spoil them. Peace and love. The account number is still there. Zenit Bank, uh, Martin Vincent Hotel Initiative. Any amount where you like, if you send 10 naira, 20 naira, nobody cares. If you like, send 2 naira, you still know me now. Your mind will take down. Very appreciated. Peace and love, don't play. Else you go and learn, and you will learn the hard way. Although a lot of people have reacted, guys. In fact, I was reading his comment section, you understand? And a lot of people have reacted. Some people are calling him that he has joined the scamming society. That he's scamming a lot of persons of their money, of their hard-earned money. You know, but a lot of people actually believe in what VDM is doing, guys, on the NGO stuff. And they believe VDM will not eat their money. So before I show you the videos of, you know, people reacting towards this, you drop your opinion in the comment section. What do you think about this NGO stuff? Do you think VDM is trusted enough, you know, to do an NGO, you know, that people donate money and he will use it for the real purpose? Do you think he's trusted enough, guys, or he's just among the rest, you know, that just do NGOs, just to live a luxury life, guys? So drop your opinion in the comment section and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video. All right, something crazy just happened now, now, now. I just received a call from Presidency about my NGO. Bro, that's crazy, man. About my NGO, all the way from presidency, they say, oh, very dark man, we like what you're doing, we see what you're trying to do, people sending you money, you know, because of the public schools, you know, how I want to help children get a strong uh, foundation. You know, presidency called. And they say they want to borrow money from me. You know, say this year regime like this, now money just they borrow up and down. Now, this one, my imagination, but I'll not be surprised if they come and say they want to borrow money from me. This is why they don't say they don't contribute like there's something million. May they don't come beg me money. Which day, yeah, they don't go collect six billion. I've been at two billion dollars. Two billion. And we see they go through pains. For a price, see they increase. Everything we see they suffer. So I will not be surprised they come and collect. Hey, it's mona no come on not near me because not even I know if you do this government. You want to see the fine money, not even I know if you do. But that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is this. Uh, me and Jolof. Me and Jolof are beg. Mona no go the Mona no they go Jolof page, go the sort time again. Me and he don't say too. He call me in respect of this NGO and he say he won't support me, he won't give me an idea. And he can't tell me the idea. You know, he tell me say this 30 something million where they contribute, make I use and play too odd. Say for these Euros, make I play too odd, make I play go go for one international team. Your love God will punish you. God will punish you for this gamble where they introduce to all these youths. 
So what if I play use that money now and I can't play now and I can't lose? Then this project when I get for these children now you know go work. God will punish you, your love. Now my God will punish you. Anyways, to those of you that want to contribute, the account number is here, Zenith Bank. Um one three one three six seven nine zero zero eight Zenith Bank and the name is Martin Vincent Hotel Initiative. Any amount is welcome. Just send them and I'll see the project. Now I know I'm gonna make a lot of enemies because to be honest, I'm gonna make this NGO thing scam looks bad. I will just spoil it. It's the business I want to spoil it. So that anybody that wants to join you will be posting the money that they are giving online. Maybe they know the reason until they fund their own lifestyle. You will say, Oh, this person is a philanthropist, this person is good. Oh my god, this celebrity, this that that now lie. They do until they fund their pockets. We'll go spoil that business for this girl. I go spoil them. Yes. Yes. Anyways, peace and love. God will punish you, your love. Now very good thing. Now DM do so. I don't fair talk on before. Money waited the right petition on you. It go go police station on you. It go give the money you. May they take do whatever it is. So now you, how many people you want for help? Nigerians are living in abject poverty. Our government know the purpose they do. So that we go, they suffer and we not go face the road. And this NGO, it's a fantastic idea. Because you know, if you use your money, do everything. People go contribute. And Nigerians are extremely generous. Not be Nigerians are very generous. Mm -mm. Nigerians are extremely generous. With their time, their money, prick, you name it. We are very, very, even with Toto, we are generous. You see, and so, so this one, all of them are they craze for comment session. VDM or nothing, go and show your love, eh? I know so now come under this conversation. I'm a dad, which one are you? Go and put money. No con the flesh muscle for conversation. May your muscle not bust. Eh? Go and put one nera put. Put ten nera. Now small, 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 small. Now they gather everywhere. Go full. Go put them. You hear me so? Support him. So that when person cry, come out. Where he go put money, may not go the Zolo for where he not day. He can delay him as well. It's not a billionaire. It can be a millionaire, but it's not a billionaire. You understand me now? Now, billionaire, now, I don't know if billionaire if even save Nigeria. So, please, people, put money. I don't care how much you are. You get 10 million, put them. VDM go use them for good cause. It go use them for good thing. Yes, if you get one nera, put them. Two nera, put them. Three nera, put any money where you get, put them. So that when one of them cry, come out, it go see money, take go away. Go wherever you want go to. So support him with your full chest, anything that you have. Go and put it. If you won't sell your car, go sell and put the money. They may another person take better. We can't show now they talk. If you see rich one, I'll say, hey, people are suffering and you are shopping your love fries. You sell your car, go and put the money. It's not a joke. Oh. So that everybody go help everybody. You feel me? Go and help and support anything you are. Put it. We don't need your prick or your total. Go and put money. Know your comments right now. And for Una, we already give. Nothing go add Una. Okay? Una prick, no go dry. Una total, no go, they pick prick.